we are playing uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, <laughs> Missions only. Headphones. Story? Let's go with story. <laughs> Let's go with story, bro. I've never played this game by the way. Just anyone that's curious. Okay, this is a really long intro and I don't like it. <laughs> oh. So I was just staring intensely at, um, okay, I don't know how to explain it, so I'm not going to, but, um, <laughs> Just read something that I did not want to read. I'm going to turn my headphones up. Alright, music. Let's go. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Oh, I, could, I can't... I can't get rid of the music for the streams. And I do have LEDs on, by the way, in case you didn't notice. You can, you can, I, I'm looking at my LEDs right now, and they're doing absolutely nothing. Am I supposed to be reading this? I feel like I should be reading this, but I'm not. No, no, let me just search for my phone, LED lights. I should be reading this, shouldn't I? But I, I <laughs> there's no point now. So I'm just trying to find an LED thing on my phone <laughs> so I can use it as an LED to for lights Oh, Arthur. If we don't start <gasps> soon, we'll Arthur. all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know. An old man in town. Uh, it ain't far. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I don't know whether to be prepared or not. I feel like it's quite hard to be prepared for something. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I have no idea what is to come. So. Chapter one. 
the lighting on my face does not seem good right now, does it? This is what this is what my face looks like when I play video games. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean it's better that you can see me than see nothing. Am I right? Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me all right chill we done yet come on arthur all right we've got some work to well, do we ain't run into them yet so they both must have headed down the hill sure hey i ain't had time to ask me. what really went down back there on that boat we missed you that's what happened come on Oh. Hey. Oh Any my. Horses? Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. <laughs> we need you strong. Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Hopefully. Careful over this bridge here. Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, <laughs> we'll be on the other side. You wow. need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. <laughs> hey, I think I see something up the path. I could try, but I don't think I'd be able to. You up ahead. Who's there? I don't know. I can not see. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. 
Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Uh. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Why hate business? I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, John. You seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. I haven't seen anything. I, I, I've never heard of any of these people. I don't think I haven't played the first one. I'm being completely honest. I haven't played the first one. I probably should have. Us two. Yeah, well. Okay. Let's head down there. <sighs> it doesn't look full, and I don't know why. We don't want to spook these fine people. Right. So I'll just get ready to shoot just in case. Sounds like quite the party. Uh, can I you two, think get yourself out of sight? One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. I'm gonna not get shot, so Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh well. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks, Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go. Buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am.
the horse is closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's? I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One call him dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Yeah. Get your strength up for the ride back. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. We can't eat it or drink it. Put it down. Right, inspect what? Big old pool of blood on the floor here. Oh. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Mike had found a dead body in the wagon outside. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. That's not what I wanted today. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else.
still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. Okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Whoa. Whoa. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And father's been they... <laughs> Miss, you are safe now. Can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Oh. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he 
Look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. <laughs> Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. Well, that ain't like him, though. <laughs> Tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot, too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Hi. Hi. Bad business, all right. How are you to go? Hi, bro. Damn snow's coming hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Oh, my God. Sorry, the brightness is just that. <laughs> it's too bright for me. I am your big fan. <laughs> really? So I'm just looking through like your stuff now. Um, I've never you I've. Like you, yeah, sure, you say you're a big fan, and I appreciate that, but it's also yes. like, but then again, it's also like, I've never heard from you at all, so it's just like, you know, never heard from you before at all in any videos or stuff, but it is good to know that you are, like, a big fan and stuff like that now. Um, how long have you been watching the channel for, is basically what I want to know at this point. Red heart, red heart, red heart. <laughs> still bright. I changed the brightness. It's still bright as. Ten days. Ten days. Really? 
10 days. Uh, yeah. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Uh, how long have you been uh, doing videos? Because I've gone, yes. gone through your uh, channel and I'm seeing, um, you know, you've posted quite a few videos. That they've got good views. Like, they've got really good views. I want, like, how long have you been doing it for? I know a little bit English. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so obviously you're not fully around here. But. Yeah, so you know a little bit of English. Like, can you. Can you understand, like, English fully, but not, like. Say, does that make sense? Wait, what? I'm probably over here, isn't it? Oh, what's up? Let's see where we go. Oh, wait. I'm using Google. Oh, okay. Well, it's working very well. It, it is working quite well. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. And yet that we're high up here. You're telling me. Down here, watch yourself. Do you know Ducky K? Don't think so. No, I don't. I don't think I know them. I don't think I know uh, Ducky. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Sorry, but like, I don't think I've just in general with it. I don't think I've ever heard someone with the name like that. Okay, good now. Watch your step. It's real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. John doesn't sound. Who would John be? Marston? 
He's down here. <laughs> That's quite a scratch you got there. Oh my. I never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Why you don't play Roblox? <laughs> no, I don't play Roblox, actually. I'm not a Roblox person. I don't play Roblox. Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sack? Camp? argue with you there. I'm GTA 5. I play GTA 5, yes, I do play GTA 5. You alright? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Oh. I play GTA, Red Dead Redemption, I'm starting now, I played GTA, and now I'm playing this, I've played Call of Duty, um, Car Mechanic Simulator, and then quite a few games, but they're not games that I play as often. I am from Pakistan. I'm from Pakistan. Alright. Up there! More of them! Get out of here! Come 
help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. All right, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, <coughs> idiota. It's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. Help with you, boys, because. I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Colm? always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscoll's about? Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store they're planning. What's that? 
tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you oh. love will die. <laughs> this feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Guess I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Mm. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. that rifle from your horse you two get up there and keep us covered you got it Dutch same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? 
Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. I keep forgetting which button the run button is, but then when I press the run button, it doesn't run. It's steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. Make the call, Arthur. Okay, I'll go first. Of them. 
Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Paul doesn't give a damn about those men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Tom doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Okay, let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Go! This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Watch out. Not a man down. Where are you riding all over the place? <clears throat> Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will.
You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Kill me, please! Mister, please! <laughs> I'm trouble! Look, I give up! <laughs> Don't hurt me! <laughs> just, just, just take it easy, mister! Please, don't kill me, please! Let's go for a ride. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Let me go. I'll disappear. I'll go to Mexico. Shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Come on, just name your price. Please, I'll do anything. They don't tell me nothing, I swear. Are you trying to test me, is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there.
sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot, fellas. Is need shooting? Save, fellas. Is need saving, and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, Mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. We are going to end it there. No, because I'm really tired. That's what this progress. Hitting me. I can't. What? Eight thirty eight was when it was last saved. What is this? So you're telling me I can't save the game? I said no manual save. Alright, I'm fine with doing it again when I'm not tired, so good day to you all, and well, goodbye.